Hi guys, whoa, whoa, whoa. It is proper cold here today. Uh, the gauge in the car said minus nine when I left. Um, so I chickened out and I went to a couple of shops to order the tiles and some other bits and bobs. The bad news with the tiles is that they're gonna probably be a couple of weeks, but um, we can make the, the roof watertight. So it's not the end of the world. I was hoping it was gonna warm up, but um, it's still saying minus seven. Um, and as you can see, everything's covered with a thick layer of frost here. Everything is really, really slippery. And um, yeah, I'm not gonna get up on here um, when it's so treacherous. So what are we gonna do with the rest of the day? I think what we should probably do is go downstairs and do a bit more demolition. I know that I need to warm up and I think ripping things apart might be just the thing that I need. Right, should we go and get on with it? <laughs> Look at that, that's dead clever. That's a peg that they formed to, to create like a fixing, but like a stood off fixing from the wall. And um, all these pegs are made of oak. 
So uh, they were trying their hardest to, to stop moisture wicking through here. I'm keeping that. That was made by somebody probably a very, very long time ago. And uh, that's cool. Come on. <laughs> Woo. You're not going anywhere. Okay, now I want you to go down in a nice, calm, controlled manner, all right? It's gonna be too big for that. Hmm, I'll drag it that way, drop it down. <laughs> we should start counting how many times I'm going to do this over the course of this build.
I'm going to have to be dead quick because the battery on my microphone is about to run out. So we've taken the wall away. Brilliant. I knew that there was going to be a fireplace behind here. It's here. I didn't expect this here and this here. So whatever it is, it's been bricked up. Um, what's really, really interesting is that there's render with a plaster finish. I can see the edges of it here. So whatever that was, was something that was finished so, and painted, perhaps. It's very, very intriguing. I wish I had time to actually open it up right now, but I've got to pick up the boys. It's Friday afternoon. Welcome to all the new subscribers. I'm really happy to see you guys. If we can get to 10,000 with this video, that would be amazing. And that means if we can get to 10,000, we can get to 100,000. And that means that this channel helped to pay for all the materials. The material costs, I'm sure they've gone up everywhere in the, in the world, but in France, the material costs are just climbing and climbing and climbing. So um, yeah, so it would be really, really good if you guys could hit the like button and the subscribe button if you haven't already. Maybe tell your friends and say, come and take a look at the channel. Um, spread the word, spread the love. We would really, really appreciate it. Anyway, have an awesome weekend. I think the battery's about to run out. Love you guys. Bye-bye.
you're gonna have to excuse the old school shooting technique on my phone but uh, the little digger the mini pal the mini digger um, is uh, <laughs> the little digger I like that I think we'll call him the little digger from now on uh, the mini digger is being picked up today and it's going to go to a place called Jamots and they are going to weld on the thumb which is going to sit on the front arm of that it's going to allow me to to pick things up and let them go so I'm very very exciting so so he's about to load it onto the trailer and it's going to go today's Tuesday no today is today's Wednesday <laughs> Um, and it should be back here on Friday. Very, very exciting. Been waiting a long, long time to find uh, a place that can do this. So, yeah, here we go. Bye bye little digger, see you soon. What we have here is this piece of oak here. This shape out here, and I'm gonna transfer this shape onto this piece of ply, and then we will have the reverse here, which I can then go and check up against the, um, the original work piece and, uh, and see how that looks. So I'm just gonna pop that i try and do it in such a way that you guys can see as well, because that's the name of the game. Right, here we go. There we go. So there we have it. So I'm gonna cut this through here, keep, cut it across here. And this is the piece we'll actually will use. We will put this up against the edges as I kind of go through and, and cut this away. This will be my, my reference piece that I can hold up against there and uh, take a bit more out as and when I need it. So I'm gonna measure, this is the bottom edge. Well, let, let's, let's say here, and we're gonna measure the thickness of this, 145, and then we'll have a proper representation of this beam here. One, five, one. Four, five, and one in the middle. So good luck. Okay, I'm gonna cut this across. I like said this this piece here is actually a piece that we're we're gonna to want to use. That's the bit we're gonna hold up against when I'm cutting this this material away here to, to see how we're doing. Okay. Give it a little scratch up with some sandpaper. Do 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 do. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna take this upstairs, hold it up against the original piece up on the roof, and uh, yeah, we'll see what we've won. Is it exactly right? Possibly not. Does that matter? No, well, not really. It, this is all artistic license, really, at this point. At the end of the day, there's no one gonna get up on a ladder when this place is completely done and um, cut. <laughs> little templates and, and take them from one bit of the roof to the other and go, oh, well, I think you'll find that this little bit here could have um, been scalloped in slightly more. So um, anyway, quite exciting. This is what we are going to use. And now I need to figure out how we are going to cut this out of a piece of timber. So this is a cross section of our piece of oak here. So we basically need to push a tiny little cut in here and then a larger cut here. So what I'm probably gonna do 
is make a, a cut down through here like that. And then, on, on from this side, and then most likely a series of cuts across this way that get us within a couple of millimeters of this point here. And then we can chop those away and then we can use our shaping tool to, to form our edge through there. That's the plan anyway. Let's, um, let's see how this goes. You guys are coming along with me. I've never done anything like this before in my life. So this is a proper trial and error process. We will see what we will see. And um, we'll see if I'm any good at this or, uh, or if I'm just a wood butcherer. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be really, really interesting. It hasn't been put through a proper shop planer. So I doubt it's dimensionally square to, to itself. That doesn't really matter for this. If we end up with a, the face sloping ever so slightly like that, so the roof comes down, that, that's, that's absolutely fine. What we want to kind of avoid is, is this, this kind of sitting back on itself. So if they've ever got any moisture in, we don't really want it traveling back in towards the wall. We want it coming out away from the house. Okay, let's get on. The first issue that we have with this is it's a fairly straight piece of oak, uh, but from about, well, you can see here, she deviates just a touch through here. That's what needs to come off. a series of kerf cuts and you can probably see just about here we've stopped about three or four millimeters short I could go a bit deeper with that one but for some reason giving me spider sense tingle is that I should uh, leave it well alone so I'm going to so we're gonna put it on its side and then we're gonna make a plunge cut here so we should end up with a kind of like a 55 millimeter by 60 odd millimeter piece of oak left over, which is quite nice. And then we'll basically do a, a series of kerf cuts through to there. Hopefully we'll be able to tap all these off and then we'll use the shaper and see, uh, see what we can make.
Hello everybody. I haven't been talking to you much this week. I've been pretty under the weather. Uh, so yeah, throat's been hurting. I felt a bit miserable, so uh, I haven't really um, had much to say. So here's the oak beam. Um, I'm working on it and it is presenting a few challenges. <laughs> um, where's my piece? This is our, our kind of, this is what we're aiming for. This is what we're shooting for in terms of our curve. Um, the difficulty that I had was the, the nature of just using a handheld machine and, and kind of going along. There's, there's no way to really, there's something to reference off of. Um, so what I ended up doing was taking the track saw track um, and putting it to there and then taking the, sticking the. Hi guys. Ah. As you can probably tell in this video, I've had some issues with audio. So the reason that I'm stood here recording this is that it's my nephew's birthday today on the Sunday when you guys are watching this. So Jay, Harry, happy birthday to you both. And Ethan, hi to you as well, because I don't want you to feel left out. Anyway, back to the riveting video that I'm sure you guys are really enjoying. Oh yes, and like and subscribe as always. So some of you guys have already figured out that uh, I got myself into a bit of a pickle here uh, by not cutting uh, the rebate out first. There was a reason why I did this. I was hedging my bets in case I completely ballsed up this side. I could essentially, you know, turn that into the rebate side and, and have a second go at this. Of course, now I've got to try and stick it up on its end um, in order to make the cut, but uh, I've got a 225 by 75 out there. So hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to put that up on its edge, put this up on its edge and clamp them together. I mean, that's definitely possible. Whether I can do it on my own is entirely debatable. <laughs> anyway, should we give it a go? It's just there, I'll go and get it.
Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Will you stay there? I don't think you will. You're not strong enough, Rich. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Is that going to get in the way? Plunge down. Potentially, might be okay. <laughs> it. Our rafters are going to sit down there like that. Okay, that's it for the week. Um, I was feeling a bit pants this week, so uh, not a lot has been done. So the video is probably going to be a bit shorter this week. Apologies for that, but uh, I do feel a bit better. I've got a nasty cough, but, uh, but apart from that, I feel better. I've got somebody coming in about 10, 15 minutes to measure up for the windows and doors. It's quite exciting. So this is a local joinery firm. It's the joinery firm that, uh, that gave me a price to, um, to, to, to make this. Um, yeah, so they are based 15 minutes away from here. Um, and they do aluminium and wood. So we are gonna see, we're gonna see how much they cost. And uh, yeah, I would love I would love to use a local firm, that would be amazing. Um, but uh, 
We will wait and see what the prices are and go from there. Next week, next week, this needs to go up there. So this weekend, apart from editing this video, I am going to be mostly thinking about how to get this up there. <laughs> see you guys next week. Take care.